Hello there, I'm Sean Briggs, coming at you with another Wex Photo video video. And today I'm gonna to be talking about the Fujifilm Instax Share SP3 printer. Now for anybody who's not familiar with what Instax is, it's basically Fujifilm's answer to Polaroid picture taking. So in the old fashioned, you know, instant photo format, basically exactly what I'm showing here. The neighbors think it's an absolute knockout. That's why there's hammering going on in the background. Now what the SP3 printer provides that the Instax cameras do not is that um, if you are someone who's collected a lot of photos over the years on your smartphone device, then this, the SP3 printer, is your answer to printing those out in the square format film provided by Fujifilm Instax. So if you've got any memories or keepsakes that you'd like to print out in this format for display purposes or to gift them to someone in say like um, as they are or in a scrapbook or something like that, then um, that's basically what this is good for. It's also small enough so that if you wanted to take it out and about with you traveling, you can keep it in say like your backpack or your handbag so that if any of your friends have photos as well that you wanna print out there and then, then all you have to do is switch this on, make sure you've got the Instax Share app installed on your phone. And then when you connect via the Wi-Fi, the Instax Share app will register your SP3 printer. And then through the app, you can then select which photos that you would like to have printed. As for the film, we are talking about the square format film by Instax. The square format is, well, it's square. This is roughly, this is, this is square, so you can get kind of a sense of the size of it. It's almost like palm of your hand size kind of thing, depending on how big your hands are. And every cartridge of film holds 10 shots. So if you wanted to do any more than 10 shots, you are gonna be looking at using multiple cases of film for that. But coming back to the SP3, if I just demonstrate to you guys how easy it is to print out your photos, all I need to do is turn on the SP3 printer. So you just put a little press here, this will light up at the front. The green light means the battery's all good. If it goes orange, it means it's on its way out. And if it's red, it means it's probably going to die at any given moment but it comes with a charger in the box and everything. It's got like a, a battery you put in the bottom. So if you wanted to get multiple batteries, then you can do. Um, this just plugs straight into um, or whatever, your computer or um, a wall socket or something to charge it and then you know, you're good to go. It's got these um, LEDs on the front that kind of tell you, um, you know, how far along the charge is or how less or whatever like that. Which one do I want to print? I want to print my face and you've got like editing in here and everything so you can do like filters you've got custom filter for brightness contrast saturation all those kinds of things you can also edit the angle so you can like crop in but you can also rotate if you want to as well depending on what it is that you want to do and now it's loading as you can hear now it's printing hmm. it takes approximately about 13 seconds to print one i think so it's a real event, you know, you can really savour the moment as this memory comes to life right before your very eyes. Now, as you can see, it is just plain white at the moment. That's because like all the Instax film, it takes roughly around about 90 seconds to fully develop. You will see over the course of that time that the picture will become more clear until the point of it actually being maximum clarity. And I've got to say as well, like I'm really impressed with the app. It doesn't have great reviews in the app store for some reason, but in terms of how easy it is, like already that was the last sheet of film from this particular cartridge. And it's now telling me right here and now that I'm out of film and that I need to change the cartridge. I think that's really handy. It also tells you in the top left corner, how many shots of film you have remaining. So that's the Instax communicating to you how many shots there are, because it counts down from 10, I imagine. And it also has a little green tick next to the photo in question. As you can see, it kind of gives you a display of roughly what it's gonna look like before you print it. So you can see what you've got to deal with. So you know if you need to edit it or anything like that. And say like you printed it once and you want a second one. Instead of then having to go through the app again and uh, doing all that stuff, I'm sure you need to be connected, but you do have a reprint button right here. So if you want to reprint the same photo again, all you have to do is press reprint and then, and then Bob's your uncle and away you go. 
And I've used a few of the Instax cameras now. So I've used the Instax SQ1. I've used the Instax Mini 40. I've even used the Instax Wide 300 as well. And before now, the Instax Wide 300 was my favorite one because of the wide format, which is just like a bigger piece of film than the square format. The quality you get from the SQ1 and the Mini 40 are kind of what you would expect from those types of cameras. It's got a very vintage look to it. Whereas when you're using your, your say your iPhone, your smartphone, whatever it is that you're using, and then you send it to the Instax SP3 printer, like the clarity and the reliability you get from getting a genuinely good picture every time well, I just find that really valuable. So say that, you know, you don't want to be taking your Instax equipment out with you because, you know, it, it, it can be expensive, I suppose, but also a little bit encumbersome. Like, I wouldn't say that this is like hugely encumbersome, but you're definitely going to want to take a bag with you or something. And if you want to keep it light and just enjoy your night out without any like uh, baggage with you, of course, you're going to take your phone with you. So if you're going out and you're taking photos with your friends on a night out or you're on holiday or you're seeing your family for the first time in however long and you want to get like physical memorabilia from those moments, then coming home with your with your phone full of pictures that you want to, ready to have printed out, the Instax SP3 printer is a great option for just immortalizing those moments. But also like just because you can print out then as many as you want of the same photo as well. Like with the SQ1, the Wide 300 and the Mini 40 in the Instax lineup, you kind of take a shot there and then, and then there's only one of that particular moment that is then printed, which is really cool in itself because then it's special to that exact moment where you took that photograph. But if you want to be handing these out and sharing them around or you know, just want copies of them, then you, know, you already have it on your phone and you've got this reprint button literally designated on the side of this printer body. Now, in terms of loading the film in, because now I've got an empty cartridge, I'm going to show you how to switch the film out. So you've got this little latch on the front here. You just uh, pull that down, then it opens up like so. I've got my empty cartridge in here. So now I just want to pick that out. And then we've got our packet of uh, fresh film here. So I'm just going to tear this open, get my film out when it lets me. And then all you do is you go bottom in first, you line up the yellow uh, tab with the yellow tab. It kind of just slots in, you don't have to click it in or anything, then you just close the top. And then instantly, the Instax will know you've loaded a new film and it'll print out this black card automatically. What the black card is doing is that it's protecting the rest of your film from being exposed to light because light is kind of like, once that's on the film, that's when like you're getting certain artifacts, you know, that's that's kind of how photographs work. When, when light hits the film, it creates the picture and then that's what you get. So now the black card is out of the way. Now we are ready to start using the film that is in our printer. And remember, if you've got more than zero shots of film loaded into here, just remember not to open it up again because then you're defeating the point of this black card, which is to keep the light away from them until you come to actually print what it is that you want. Thank you very much for sticking with me through this video, guys. I hope that for anybody who's interested in the Fujifilm Instax Share SP3 printer, I hope that this video was helpful to you guys to bring a little bit of clarity as to what this bit of kit offers you. Um, we are making content like this all the time about cameras, lenses, accessories, printers, you name it. So if you're interested in keeping up to date with the kind of stuff we're bringing out, then do feel free to subscribe to the channel and ring that little notification bell so you don't miss out on anything. But also if you want to find out a little bit more about the Instax SP3 printer, then there is a link in the description of this video. So be sure to click on there and have a little read about it. And if you're interested in buying one for yourself or for somebody else, like a gift or anything, then you can also do that from the same page. So be sure to check it out. And as always, everyone, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.